My next task is slightly different. I'm going to go to my timeline here. I'm going to copy these buttons from the bounce frame and I'm going to put them in the fly frame. And um, one of the nice things is because we're wiring things up with ActionScript, it really doesn't matter where I put these buttons. I'm going to go ahead and stick them right over here. Um, the other thing I'm going to do, let me move this down now because I move my buttons in the way, is I'm just going to give them, I'm going to call this button stop 2 and button play 2. If you don't rename the instances, Flash may give you an error because you've got two instances of the same name on the same timeline. However, uh, they will work. It's not going to stop your movie. So if you want to keep the original instance names, you certainly can. The other thing I want to do is I'm going to go back to my timeline. I'm going to go back to my bounce frame, open my actions, and I'm going to copy this because I can use it again. Go back to the timeline. I'm going to go to the fly frame and I'm going to paste. Now in this case I need a, a function to stop the flyer and the spinner and I need a function to play the flyer and spinner. So I'm just changing the names. Um, this is going to be button stop 2 and button play 2 because I changed the instance names and I'm going to copy and paste what the listeners add in there. So we're almost done here. I've got two buttons that call two functions. The difference is this. I want to have flyer.stop and since we know they're named flyer and spinner, I'm not going to use the crosshairs. If I wanted to put this dot flyer dot stop, I could. And here's flyer dot play. And if I test this movie, and I go to the fly frame, here it is, and I hit stop. The problem is I've stopped the flyer, but I have not stopped the spinner yet. And the goal is to do both. So, oh my play is not working. Let's see what the problem is. Flyer.stop, flyer.play. This should be play, the flyer spinner. So I called the stop twice. One nice thing about having separate functions that do different things is if something doesn't work, it's pretty easy to track down which part of your code is not working. And off we go. Okay, let's add this last piece. Where is the flyer? Well, it's inside the spinner, which means we use dot syntax flyer dot spinner dot stop. If there was any doubt about that, we could use the crosshairs. We could find our flyer, and there's a little twisty here. Here it is, flyer dot spinner. It puts in the this keyword. I'm going to take it out this time for consistency. It really doesn't matter it has its uses in other kinds of code and what we should have here when we test the movie is stopping the flyer and we also stop the spinner that is inside the flyer and likewise start both of those back up in a nutshell that's the midterm for the flash class